What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com and before we kick this news video off, I wanted to touch on one thing. In the last few videos, I saw a lot of people asking where I've been. So I went ahead and made a community post, which you can see on the Sneaker Files YouTube channel. In that post, I explained pretty much where I've been for it's seven months, but I know I only made three videos. So it's been about a year, honestly, since I've been consistent on YouTube. I'm not going to go make a video on it just because, honestly, it's not all great. There is some good things, but there's some negative things, and I don't necessarily want to dig into that. I want to keep it mainly sneakers, but I feel you guys deserve to know what has been going on in my life. But back to the news video. Like always, greatly appreciate it if you hit this video with a thumbs up, and without wasting too much of your time, let's jump into the news. Earlier yesterday, Under Armour officially unveiled the Curry 6. Now, as for the first colorway that's releasing, it's known as Fox Theater, which pays tribute to the landmark in Oakland, California. The shoes feature a black knitted upper, while accents of neon green, yellow, and orange is spread throughout. We also have the SC30 logo, which lands on the lateral side of the midsole, while UA's logo lands on the tongue and heel. For those that want to purchase, you have a little bit of time to wait. Well, not too much longer, but the first release, which is the Fox Theater, drops on January 4th, and the retail price will be $130. For you Dragon Ball Z fans out there, Adidas Originals just announced the release date for the last two pairs releasing part of the collection, which is inspired by the character Shinron. Both models will be the Adidas EQT support mid-ADV. Inspired by the character's colors, the first comes in collegiate green, core black, and bold gold. The second pair features a core black, core black, gold metallic color combination. As most of you already know, there's a total of seven pairs part of the Dragon Ball Z collection. Each comes with special packaging, and if you get all seven pairs, it'll actually create one single design. Now, for the release details, December 22nd is the date. Retail price is $170 each. I don't know availability as of yet, but since there's a lot of fans of Dragon Ball Z as well as fans of Adidas, I'm going to assume that they'll go pretty fast, especially that green pair. I personally like that. What you'll notice in this video is that yesterday we got a handful of first looks at various sneakers from different brands. We just went over the Curry 6, and now we have something from Adidas, and that is the Adidas NMD R1 that will celebrate Chinese New Year. The shoes are somewhat on the simple side. They feature black mesh across the upper and then the three stripes branding as well as the Adidas logo on the tongue that's done in red. The shade of red is then extended to the heel which features a Chinese inspired graphic and the same graphic on the heel it looks like it could be on the insoles. And one last thing as most of you can see and probably already know they feature a black boost midsole. Now release information really isn't known at this time. More than likely they will drop January 2019. Recently, a handful of Adidas Yeezy Boost 700 news has leaked. We have learned that in 2019, the brand is releasing what they're calling Salt, Inertia, and Analog. Now, if you're wondering why there's each shoe but in a smaller form, that is due to the fact that all three are going to release in kid sizing, specifically toddler and infant sizes. But if you're a fan of the model, don't worry, they're coming in adult sizes as well. Now, we don't have release dates or any additional information at this time for any size range. All we know is that they're going to drop sometime in 2019. Adidas has officially unveiled their latest Ultra Boost, known as the Ultra Boost 2019. Reading straight from the Adidas press release, different from the original Adidas Ultra Boost, the Ultra Boost 19 is reconstructed from 17 pieces to focus on four key components optimized boost. Torsion Spring, PrimeNet 360, and 3D Hill Frame. Now, if you're not into the tech issues, I totally understand that. You might want to fast forward maybe 5 to 10 seconds. Optimized Boost features 20% more boost in the midsole compared to the first generation Adidas Ultra Boost. This updated technology brings even more energy return. Torsion Spring is a lightweight construction for enhanced support on landing and a snappy transition to propel runners forward. The PrimeNet 360 feels like a second skin, combining pure comfort with lightweight performance. Last but not least is the updated 3D heel frame. A stripped back design cradles the heel, bringing the perfect mix of adaptability and support. 
Now, one of the first colorways to release will come in a cloud white, cloud white, and active red colorway, and they'll officially drop December 15th. Retail price will be 180. On to Nike, and you guys already know how the brand works. They love taking a classic shoe and then modernizing it with either technology or by the way it looks. With that being said, Nike has taken the Air Presto and added React technology to it to bring us the Nike Presto React. Now, I'm not 100% if that's going to be the official name of the shoe, but that's what they're being called for now. Some of the biggest changes include a new reinforced heel, midfoot cage with a modernized tongue. Now, the cage does feature the lace loops, but overall, to me, I really don't see the Presto in here. I guess if I look hard enough and really think about it, I do see it, but it does have the same style mesh upper. Lastly, we do have the React cushioning in the midsole. Additional information like a release date or a retail price is not available as of yet, but like you guys probably already expected, they're going to drop some time in 2019. Recently, Harlem stylist Rox Brown, as well as Jordan Brand, announced that they would be collaborating together on the Air Jordan 1, and that releases today. But also releasing alongside that pair is the Nike Air Force 1 High Chester by Rox Brown. Inspiration for this shoe is New York City's youth and fashion culture. Looking closer, this pair features mainly black throughout, but what stands out the most is the silver detailing on the heel, as well as a rose, which pays tribute to her tattoo that she has on her back. Lastly, they do feature some reflective detailing throughout. Now, same as the Air Jordan 1, the Nike Air Force 1 High Jester by Rox Brown releases today, December 12th. Retail price is 130 As of now, all I know is Nike Sneakers app is the place to go. Jerry Lorenzo and Nike will expand upon their collaborations outside of the basketball world. The two will also release the Fear of God Nike Air Skylon 2 in several colorways. Today we have a look at the black anthracite pearl white and white color theme. Looking a little bit closer, they feature mainly black across the upper while constructed with leather and mesh. Following, we have patent leather on the Nike swoosh while Fear of God branding lands by the heel as well as the insoles. Other details includes a toggle lacing system as well as 3M reflective on the toe. As for release information, we don't have much. There's a possibility they could release this month. However, I doubt that more than likely January or February of 2019. We do know the retail price and that will be 140. Concepts will have a handful of collaborations releasing this month, but in this video we're going to look at two of them. The first is the Nike SB Dunk Low Purple Lobster. Now, I just shared images in the previous video. We don't have any additional information, but we have new images, so you can take this as a better visual. Now, I do need to make a correction. Originally, the retail price was thought to be $130. It's actually $100, so that's a plus for everybody. And as for the release information, they're going to release first on Friday, December 14th, in store and online at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. On Saturday, December 15th, they'll be available at select skate shops. And on December 17th, you can grab them on Nike sneakers. The second collaboration with Concepts to showcase is the Nike Kyrie 5 Aket. Now, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I tried to look it up by way of spelling and there's no way to pronounce it, but there is a way to pronounce it spelled A-K-H-E-T. Anyways, that's besides the point. Here we have additional images and some information if you missed out. But first, we're going to talk about the shoe, which is inspired by Kyrie's Amza hand tattoo. Across the uppers, we have Sandy Beige, which pays tribute to the age of ancient Egypt and pyramids. Following, we have a chiseled gray Nike swoosh and a red tongue for Sphinx before they decayed. Following, we have a purple outsole for the sunset on the pyramids. Other highlights include dual branding on the tongue and Egyptian hieroglyphics on the heel. As for the release information, they're going to drop on December 26th. And the retail price will be 130 At the time of shooting this, I don't know exact availability. I'm sure as we get closer to the release, we'll know. For example, like the lobster pair, they're going to first release at Concepts and online. Probably a few days later, they'll release as well on Nike sneakers. But once those details are known, I definitely will include it in the following news video. On to Jordan Brand, and we don't have much news for today. However, we do have a few things, and first up, we're going to go over the collaboration between Alele May 
and Jordan brand on the Air Jordan 1 Court Lux High OG. Now, it does have a unique look. Some people like them, some people hate them, but what stands out the most is the fur that's over the top of the tongue. Now, I've seen some images early on that showed that you can actually remove the fur. However, I'm not 100% positive if that will be the case on the retail pair. Maybe we'll have some additional information. Now, although I don't believe this was mentioned, the overall look, as far as colors, is inspired by the Nike Dunk Low Viotech, which first released back in 2002, and then a retro came out around 2016, I believe. The shades used throughout is Bordeaux, Sunset Tint, Rush Red, and Light Armory Blue. Constructed with suede, they also have cowhide used on the laces. Lastly, they feature a quilted diamond leather pattern on the insoles. Now, we have two release dates as of now. Select retailers will have them on December 15th, and then a wider release on December 22nd at retailers in North America and on the Nike Sneakers app. Retail price will be $160. You know, I've been seeing mixed thoughts on these. People like them, like I said. People hate them. However, I do feel that this will be a pair that sells out depending on availability, of course. I haven't heard much, but then again, I haven't asked around too much, but I'll make sure to do that before the wider release happens. Last up for today is a first and detailed look at the Air Jordan 11 Low Navy Blue Snakeskin. Now, this shoe originally released back in 2001 alongside several other snakeskin Air Jordan 11 lows. This will be the first time this colorway has retroed, which will take place in spring 2019. More on the release information in a minute. As for the shoes itself, they feature a white, black, and navy color combination. We have white leather on the upper as well as the tongue, and then white also covers the midsole. Now the highlight of the shoe, depending on who you ask, is the navy blue snakeskin that wraps the mud guard, goes around the heel, and the toe. Now the few last details, we have a bit of black throughout and a blue tinted translucent outsole. As of now, the release information is, or I should say the release date, is April 19th, 2019. Now just remember, there's quite a while from now till April, so things can change, the date could get pushed forward, pushed back, etc. Retail price will be 185 And that recaps the news, like always we post it first on sneakerfiles.com and then we take it to YouTube. In this video, the news really came from Nike and Adidas. However, there was a little bit of Jordan brand as you just heard and saw, but do me a favor and leave a comment below. Let me know from this video what you liked, what you disliked, what you're hoping to see, or on a whole side note, what type of videos you want me to continue doing. The news videos are going to be the staple of this channel from here on out. Eventually, I want to work back in reviews, but uh, more on that later. Once again, I want to thank everybody for showing so much love and support for the channel and myself. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.